and today I'm going to film a um, kind of grungy makeup um, for you and yeah I really hope you enjoy. Okay so the first one I'm going to be using is this collection um, primer so I'm literally just going to like dot that on my finger. It's like a gel as well. So, oh, I just dropped something. <laughs> and then I'm literally just gonna put, dab it on my face and really start like working into my skin. I only just bought this today as well, so. Um, I haven't really. I don't know, you know how it works, I can't really give it a review. But maybe I know that I'll give a I'll give a couple of my makeup. It's kind of you. Because I'm planning on getting a load of new makeup. Okay, now my primer's done, I'm gonna go on to the foundation and I just use the um match perfection and I mix it in with if I can find it. I mix it in with this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I don't know if you can see that. Dream Matte Mousse. Um, because the foundation I use isn't kind of the kind of colour of my skin. So yeah, I literally just pump some of that onto the back of my hand. And then I just grab like that much of it and then grab that then I grab the back of a kind of brush and um, just kind of mix it it doesn't look that nice but it kind of it kind of matches my skin kind of <laughs> okay, so once that's all like mixed in I then start dotting it around my skin. I'm actually kind of liking this primer because it's making the foundation go on really silky, which I kind of like. So once I have like a massive blob of it on my hand, I'm going to take a makeup brush and she just wipes that off. <laughs> um, then I am going to take my... This brush I got today as well. Um, it's really soft, I got it from Amazon, I've been waiting for it for ages. And yeah, I'm literally just going to put this all over my skin, kind of using circular motions just bring it down my neck a little bit my eyes <laughs> um just yeah everywhere okay so now that's all nicely gone into my skin or onto my skin or into my skin um now i'm going to take my other brush which is quite a big one. They come as like a set and I got them from Amazon. I think I already said that. But I'm going to be using the Matt Rimmel something. I can't find the lid. Rimmel something, but it's like a lasting perfection one. So I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. this down my neck. My face just vibrated. Normally I'd listen to music, but yeah, I don't smell that nice. So okay. So once I've done all my base and everything, now I'm going to move on to kind of contouring my cheekbones. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get. 
I have a contour stick and um, it's actually pretty pretty decent for the price to be honest. Um, I also got this from Amazon so I'm literally just gonna shape my cheeks and this is kind of the um, This is kind of the makeup I kind of use when I um, do shows as well, depending on what the director actually wants us to wear makeup wise. But um, yeah, and it really contours. I'm not done yet, well, I'm a bit no way. Then I'm literally just going to go down my nose like this, and then like that, and then down my nose again. And then just above my head. I look a bit weird at the moment. I'm not. I'm not really steady when I do makeup. It looks quite messy until I've kind of finished it. Okay, so now I'm going to use this brush. I think. Nope, nope. I'm using this one, and it's kind of like a flat kind of um, weird. So I'm just going to blend that in and yeah I'm being quite rough <laughs> but normally if I do do a show I will use like a darker one because um, literally when you go on stage because you have all the bright lights on you it looks much much brighter so I'm just going to Blend that into my forehead. As you can see, I've got my hair up because I have very long hair and it tends to get in the way all the time. So, yeah. Just gonna blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the Renell blush in the colour Life Pink 050 and yeah so I'm going to apply this with this big brush again literally just gonna like dab and then smile and put it on my cheeks bones oh just pick myself in the eye as well normally when I put this on it always looks quite um, red in a way so I kind of just kind of even it out with a little bit of shimmer so I'm gonna use uh, the, this brush again and I'm literally just gonna get my shimmer this is a really cheap one it's called Dazzle. It's really cheap. I'm just going to put on my cheek pins just to kind of brighten them up a little bit and kind of tidy up the bits I think I've missed. Okay, so now that lightened up. Um, I'm going to go in with my um, L'Oreal Colour Rich, I don't know what that says, but it's a really nice kind of um, goldy kind of creamy colour. I'm literally just gonna put that on my lid. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to grab another eye crayon that the um, tip is well the colour is a bit different um, I'm going to use this really kind of dark 
kind of smoky gold and um, I'm literally just I'm not gonna be so um, precise with this um, I'm literally just gonna kind of put it all over my lid and it may look messy but I'll tidy it soon so right now I look like a right idiot this kind of when I get right up to like not too near your um, um, eyebrow that's what I meant that's what I meant <laughs> and then I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and another new one and I am just gonna kind of buff it in if you'd like um, so yeah just buffing that in bringing it down so as I go up kind of bringing it down I do these art this face where I'm like And do feel free to kind of like rub it in with your finger. And then it kind of gives this like really smoky kind of. It looks a bit messy but I will, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to put eyeliner on so. And then what I'm going to do, I'll wash that later. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush here and I have this limited collection which I got from the Snap Club um, and I'm going to use this kind of um, purpley kind of shade on my lid. Okay, um, as I was saying, because I thought I thought if the thing looks a bit weird, like the angle, it's because I thought the thing was going to die, and it probably will die because the thing's flashing. So, okay. And then I'm literally going to brush with this now, <laughs> and I'm literally going to put this onto the tip of my eye. Again, not being too precise how I put it on and you can use this for like an evening look, a daytime look um, I just kind of wear it every day um, so yeah <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use this really big fluffy brush just to kind of blend it in again Blindy, blindy. Okay, so the camera died again. <laughs> Okay, so literally all I've done, and I think you saw me do it, um, is literally just put the um, darker eyeshadow on the, if I just close my eye, put the darker shadow on the um, side of the lid. And now I am going to get, I can find it, there we go, got um, my Dazzle eyeliner, again really cheap, but does the job. It does the job, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and um, literally just put it on where you're supposed to put it on. <laughs> so I need to look on one of these. Then I'll really just kind of. I need to look in this because I have a mirror here. 
Okay. Just put it as close to the lash line as I can. And to be honest, doing my makeup takes me about. It depends what kind of makeup I'm actually trying to do, to be honest, actually. Because um, if I'm doing my makeup, like gigs and I normally take quite quite long because I want to get it completely because like I'll be taking a long time tomorrow because I have a gig so and I think we're gonna take you guys with me yeah <laughs> and then yeah and also I'm gonna get my own um, well, because I um, I just got paid. Well, I'm getting paid next week. Um, and then, yeah, so literally just getting close to my last line as possible. You probably don't need to see this. Okay, so once I've done that, I am going to grab my eyeliner. And again, this is a really cheap one. It's called it's Techniques. I think I'm going to get a more expensive one because this doesn't stay on for that long. And it gets really annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally, I'm going to do it on this. You just look over here. I'm literally just going to put it on like thin it here and then when I get to the end of this bit I'm going to really thicken it up like that so it looks really like kind of smoky and grungy and then it can just kind of um, kind of thicken it up on the end bit. So it looks again really, really kind of smoky. Um, and I don't know what the lid is for that, so I just put it back in my drawer like I always do. If you like my bun, it's like really weird. It went really weird. I think mean, my bun's doing wrong without this. Um, and it's actually kind of quite nice. And I kind of put the light to it. And, and the second, second, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this. Some tape on this. I'm going to put on this extreme waterproof um, um, mascara, and it's really good. It really makes your eyelashes kind of stand out. What I normally do is I literally just close mine, just keep flicking it up like so and do my bottom lashes. Like so. Now, so as you can see, it really like kind of lengthens my eyelashes. Um, and now <laughs> you're gonna think I'm crazy, but now I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Mascara. I'm just gonna use that as well, just to. Kind of um, make my lashes a bit thicker, and now <laughs> I am going to use the K 
curve it up and pump booster. Um, it just comes like this and um, I literally just keep riding that up. I kind of like to use like that side because I felt like I was going to cross out them. Um, because it, if I use G's I'll give you a demonstration. If I use that side it kind of looks quite clumpy. I mean not like me not using me using that side doesn't make it look clumpy but it makes it look more separated. And it's better than wearing fake lashes because I can't apply them. I have tried many times to apply fake eyelashes and it's never worked. <laughs> it's always gone wrong. And you'll probably get this slight problem when you get the scar up there because you talk too much. Well done, Lucy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a concealer um, just to kind of go like under my eyes and any bits where I feel like I kind of need it. I should have done it earlier, but I didn't. So, yeah. It's literally just to go, it goes with that um, contour brush as well, contour stick. So I'm literally just going to pile it on underneath my eye. on the side of my nose uh, and just on my chin and literally just gonna highlight this bit here so I look like a bit like an idiot um, but I'm gonna kind of blend it through again with this, this bracket That on and I've got my uh, I got my mascara on it. But like kind of dab and circle emotions. <laughs> and this kind of highlights my face a little bit. And the other side. Some of you may comment going, that's so much makeup, don't wear that much makeup. No, whatever. Um, but this is, this is how I do it. Uh, and I like what I do, so. That's all that matters. And then I just kind of blend bits out that I've kind of mixed. And then I'm going to get my this again and I'm actually going to use my Real Techniques brush and just kind of dot under my eyes just because in the places I may sweat um, just above my eyebrows and just corners of my nose and my chin so yeah that's all um, nicely blended in and as you can see it's kind of really starting to look stagey because if I was to have stage lights on me they would kind of only see my eyes and the contour of my face so that's fun and um, then renewed is I'm going to use a lip liner I just got this from Primark. So I've changed my mind. I'm now going to use the Rim L Lasting Finish um, Crayon Pencil just to kind of lip line my lips. I kind of just. Sometimes I go on like the outside just to make my lips look kind of bigger because I have quite small lips so just kind of really like packing it on because <laughs> uh, it's 
from the show. You don't really want all your stuff or not or your lipstick. Normally you'd go backstage and kind of reapply it. What's the fun in that? And you can just have it long lasting. And now we are going to use this Avon um, kind of really red matte lipstick just over it. Also, if you're going to use, um, if you're going to be in the show, I'm going to use, you want it to kind of shimmer your face a little bit. So I'm literally just going to use this shimmer glitter. Oh no, I just put it all over my hand. Right, brush it off. Use the excess on my hand. I'm literally just going to put that just down my face. literally just to kind of highlight my face because it will look really pretty within like the stage lights and everything and there's glitter flying around everywhere and there you go that is the finished look if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and please comment down below if you want me to do any more of these videos. It's not my channel, it's my sister's, but we both kind of take turns. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and send me pictures. If um, Put pictures down below in the comments if you tried this look. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Peace! Bye!